Hi, I'm Lila. I'm a Japanese living in Tokyo for 20 years. In this video, I'll be going over how to get around Tokyo by train and subway. I hope you find this video helpful. Tokyo's train network is huge and complex. There are a whopping 772 stations in Tokyo. Inside the Yamanote line alone, there are 117 stations on 17 lines, but you do not need to worry. This is totally manageable, I promise. Luckily, there's some amazing tools on your smartphone that can help you navigate. You wouldn't really look at this complicated map very much. Actually, living in Tokyo, I rarely look at the map, I just ask Google Map how I need to arrive at the destination. In Tokyo, the main mode of public transportation revolves around its top-notch train system. Known for its exceptional efficiency and punctuality, you'll rarely find yourself waiting more than a couple of minutes for a train, regardless of the time or your destination. This makes getting around Tokyo a breeze for those in the know. So, as I mentioned earlier, having your smartphone handy is absolutely key for navigating Tokyo's transportation network smoothly. You can use Google Maps, which is what I prefer. It is not necessary to memorize the names of the lines nor name of the station. But just remember that the Yamanote line circles the central Tokyo and the Chuo line runs through the middle. Yamanote line has stations in major tourist areas Tokyo, Shinjuku, Shibuya, Ikebukuro. For others, what you need to know is the color of each line and the station number. Each line has a color and each station along that line has a number that goes up and down depending on what direction you're going. There is one thing you must have when you go around in Tokyo by train. It is an IC card. The IC card of Suica or Pasmo covers all the line. The both card can be used for bus, taxi and shopping. I made a movie to explain how to get the IC card at airport. If you are interested, please check the link in the description. So let's try a train journey from Shinagawa to Roppongi. This is what Google Maps shows. As outlined, get on Yamanote line from Shinagawa station. Change line at Ebisu station to Hibiya line. Then you can arrive at Roppongi. Let's check in real trip. From Shinagawa station get on Yamanote line, JY25 the platform is 3. Get off Yamanote Line, Ebisu Station. Get out from the JR Ticket Gate. Walk to the Hibiya Line there are guideline here. Go down the steps, since Hibiya Line is a subway get into the Hibiya Line Ticket Gate. Check the signs at the platform and confirm whether you are going to the one with the increasing or decreasing station number. After you get on the train, a monitor inside the train will show you which way you are going, so you can check to make sure you are going in the right direction. The time of the train ride is also displayed, so it is a good idea to use it as a guide. Troubleshooting at the gate. When the gate does not open though you touch your suica. You might wonder what happens. When balance is not enough, you cannot get in slash or out. If it is before you enter the gate, go to ticket machine and charge it. If it is just before getting out from the gate and if there is not enough balance, go to the yellow machine and charge additional money to the card. Another reasons you cannot get out is supposed two option. One happens when you try passing through the single station. In this case, you need to go the staff counter. Ask them to make you go out. Basically Suica does not allow passing through. Another reason is your Suica was not tapped correctly at the time of entry. In this case, go to the gate where station staff are available. If there is no station staff around the gate, there are gates without staff often found in subway. Call a staff on the intercom. And there is nothing you can do. Force your way out of the ticket gate. The next time you board the train, go to the staff counter and tell him or her that you had trouble getting out of the gate earlier, and they will calculate the missing amount. On weekday, there are a lot of people who commute in and out of central Tokyo. Because of that, during rush hour, during peak times like 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. or 5 o'clock to 7 p.m. kind of at the beginning and the end of the workday. The train and platform would be busy. If you can avoid rush hour, I really recommend not to use the train at the rush hours. If you're keen on experiencing the rush hour train ride, here are a few pointers. On the train, personal space is limited, and you'll find yourself in close quarters with other passengers. 
It's best to refrain from engaging in conversations on crowded trains. Please place your belongings in a compact bag. If you're carrying a backpack, consider holding it in front of you to avoid inconveniencing others. While waiting on the platform, queue up and stand beside the door, rather than in front of it. If you're standing by the door inside the train car, step out briefly to facilitate the exit of passengers inside. Should you find it difficult to disembark from the train, loudly say, Sumi Ma Sen. Those nearby will help you make your way through. Sumi Ma Sen means excuse me in Japanese. After riding the train a few times, even if fearfully, you will be able to move around on the train with confidence. Well that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any questions. I really appreciate your like. And subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I'll see you in the next video.